Hi, good evening. Sorry for interruption. Um, so can you please type in the chat box if you hear me clearly? Um, I'd like to make sure that you can hear me and watch me clearly. Okay, so a lot of students are commenting right now. Yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. Um, so today I'd like to introduce someone else who is going to share with you a lot of things. Um, so let me find him out if I can. Okay. Um, give me one moment, please. Okay. Um, got it. Thank you. So, okay, so can you please type in the chat box? So, who is number classes today? Is it part fourth of it? I'd like to check if you understand where we are right now. Type in the chat box. Okay, still you can remember. So, that's right, it's fifth class. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, um, now the next question I'm gonna ask you so, what have you learned from this uh, fifth class? So from five classes, what have you learned? What can you remember in your head? Can you please type in the chat box? I'd like to see still if you can remember what have you learned from five classes? Type in the chat box. Okay. Um, I'd like to make sure. Okay, all right. So type in the chat box, what have you learned from these five classes? So Imran said how to be fluent, okay? Anybody else? Type in the chat box. What did you learn from these five classes? Um, yeah, type in the chat box. I'd like to see a comment. How, how to communicate, okay? Anything else? Type in the chat box, please. Okay, 80%, 20%, yeah, that's right. So psychology is 80%, 20% is mechanism. Fluency, okay. Um, how to remove inertia, okay? Anything else? Type in the chat box. I'd like to see. What have you learned? Okay, how to lead Zoom class. Okay, excellent. How to ask question. Okay, what else? To speak with courage. Okay, anything else? Removing inertia. Okay, how to ask question. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Got it. Got it. Thank you. how to communicate, um, okay, how to ask question again. So type in the chat box very quickly. I'd like to um, listen from you. What have you learned from these five classes? Okay. Uh, conversation, okay, anything else? Type in the chat box. Uh, how to introduce myself, okay, anything else? How to make sentences, excellent. Anything else? Type in the chat box, I'd like to see what have you learned from these five classes? Okay, I learned how to communicate with another people by speaking English, okay, excellent. Anything else? How to ask question, okay? Okay, um, that means still you can remember loads of things, what do you have learned? So let's recap. So in the first class, you have learned how to introduce yourself, right? And you gave loads of presentation and you also uploaded the video on Facebook group. I'm glad that you did it. So in the second class, you have learned how to make sentence, subject plus verb, right? So this is how we made loads of sentences and you gave a presentation, what do you do every day? That means the whole day, usually every day, what do you do? You can speak regarding that and you gave a presentation. Excellent, you have done really well. So in the third class, you have learned how to ask question. So yes, no question, for example. So we use do for integrative and negative um, sentences. So using do, you have used do, um, like do practice. The answer was yes, I do, or I don't. Okay, in the last class, we have learned how to ask deep questions. Can you please type in the chat box what you have learned in the last class? How to ask deep question. Right? Please type in the chat box, I'd like to see. How to ask deep questions. Type in the chat box, deep questions. Yeah, that's right. So you know how to ask deep questions. So that means, you know, communication is nothing. Language is nothing but communication. So what do you mean by communication is asking and answering. So if you know how to ask and if you know how to answer, that means you know the language, right? So today I have got a homework for you. So I'm gonna give you the homework first, then I will give you the answer. And 
in this class, I would recommend you please take pen and paper because you need it. Take pen and paper so that I can um, give you a lot of information and so that you can take uh, loads of notes and you can do the homework. So today's homework, so today's the class is completely different. So from the very beginning, I'll give you the homework and then after uh, we'll take the class and then um, at the end of the session, you know all the information, what you have to say in the homework and this is how we're gonna um, end up the class. So if you understood, please type in the chat box understood. I'd like to see how many of you really understood. Type in the chat box. So to this class, I'm gonna give you homework first and then I'll take the class. And at the end of the class, you know what to say in the homework. And this is how we're gonna wrap up the class. Okay, so in this homework, today's, um, after finishing this class, you got to submit your homework. The homework is all about, okay, can you please uh, type in the chat box? The first question is, write it down. How to take admission at the UK universities? That's the homework. How to take admission at UK universities? Type in the chat box, please. How to take admission? Type in the chat box. How to take admission at UK university? Yeah, that's right. I want everyone else type in the chat box. How to take admission at UK university? Yeah, that's your homework. How to take admission at UK university? I would recommend everyone else type in the chat box. How to take admission at UK universities? So I can see here, um, here about 50 people have joined. So I would like to see 50 comments at least, right? How to take admission at UK university. So if you don't have the pen and paper, please grab that. I take from somewhere else, take pen and paper and take loads of notes, right? So please type in the chat box, how to take admission at UK university. So that's the homework. So now one of my colleagues will give you a presentation how to take admission at the UK university. You will listen, you'll take a lot of notes. And at the end, um, so, there will be Q and A session, question and answer. So if you've got any questions, you can ask, then they will answer you. And after that, in the next class, before the next class, you got to submit your homework, how to take admission at the university. So if you're ready, type in the chat box, ready. I'd like to see how many of you are really ready to know how to take admission at the university. Type in the chat box, ready, okay? So um, today I'm gonna introduce um, one of my colleagues. Um, so he's gonna, first of all, share his story, right? Who, what's his name, where he's from, and how he took the admission at the university, which university is studying right now, and then he's gonna show you exactly what you need to do to do the same, right? So now I'd like to um, introduce my colleague, um, Ashfaqur Rahman. In short, we call him Ash. So if you'd like to know his story and his presentation, Please type in the chat box, thanks Ash. I'd like to see how many of you are really ready to know about him. And yeah, that's right. Type in the chat box, thanks Ash. I'd like to see how many of you are really, really, I mean, really excited to know his story. And he's gonna share it to each and everything. He will not hide anything else. He will tell exactly from what kind of family he is from, where does he live, where does he work, and where does he study. And then he's gonna show you exactly how he did it. So, okay, excellent, excellent. So who is excited to know a lot of things from him? Type in the chat box, excited. I'd like to see how many of you are really excited to know from him? Type in the chat box, excited. I'd like to see. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, um, Ash, for joining today. Thanks for your time. So can you please introduce yourself and tell each and everything and please share your presentation so that they can know exactly what they have to do to take the uh, admission from your university. Go on. Okay, so hello everyone. So can, can everyone hear me clearly? Yes, we can. Okay. So first of all, I would like to give a short introduction about myself. Currently, I am studying at University of Hertfordshire with business administration. Um, after a few months, like let's say after one month, I will gonna start studying my final year. That means I will gonna graduate soon. So in this long journey, um, I will gonna share each and every bits of how and 
you know, how I managed to come here and how I met, um, how I am still surviving. So it was from back in 2019 when I got, um, didn't get any chance in anywhere in from back home. I am from Savard, Dhaka. And on the first few days, uh, let's say after the admission period, um, I decided that I should take a decision which would really count. And it was only a one decision that I should make. And that the best decision was that I moved in the UK. So I started the dream and now I'm living my dream. So currently I am working as a student consultant with HNK almost about one year. So um, I'm living in London. Um, right now I will gonna share each and every bits of how I managed to do that. So I'm sharing my screen now. Can everyone share this, uh, see my screen? Type in the chat box, please. Can everyone see my screen? Okay, perfect. So we are a uh, hassle-free education. And so who we are? So we are a global education and career consultants. And we have been formed to commit it and to fulfill the dreams of yourself and for the fulfillment of ambition for every person. We are a UK-based company and we are specialists on student recruitments and we don't charge anything for our um, consultancy and we suggest everyone with affordable tuition fees and we take all the hassle and you don't need to worry about anything and we will gonna take care of each and every bit. So here are our team. You can see this is our Birmingham office so we provide free support and advice. We try to get you admission in better institutions. We take students to the institution in enrollment day. We will pick up you from the airport when you first arrive. This is a special service that most of the recruitment agencies don't do. So if you come with us, we can provide you this special service we will also help you to manage your accommodation. And we, after that, we will also help you to join a doctor, which we call a general practitioner or GP here in the UK. And we will also help you to get you on board with your bank account and most importantly, the national insurance number. So this is a, a very important thing. So. National Insurance Number will help you to do part-time jobs. Without this, you can't work in the UK. And then, as you know, UK is famous for its transport. So if you come in London, uh, you will need a travel card so that you can roam around places, go to universities and enjoy your life. So we have our offices in London, Birmingham, Manchester, Montreal, Taka, Silet, and in Lahore. So why we should study in the UK? So basically we, we, we are working with so many universities from Birmingham. We have Birmingham City University. Um, we have some universities outside London, including Kent. We have one of the most reputed universities in London, which is Queen Mary University. We have universities in Cardiff. We have in Middlesex, Northumbria, and obviously in London as well. So, 
sorry for that. So we have around 25 universities in London. So if someone is interested in studying in London, they can get enrolled. So comment down in the chat box who is really, really excited to study in London. Let's see how many of you are willing to study in London. Okay, Imran said he is interested. Shafaid, Ahmed, very good. And we have around 80 universities outside London as well. So why we should study in the UK? So as you know, UK is one of the best place for education throughout the world. And it has point-based eligibility. And right now the tuition fees and living costs are much more affordable than never before. You will have part-time work opportunity doing work. And right now uh, there are some new rules and which provided us that after your graduation, you can apply for post-study work, which means it's a kind of work permit where you can work two years. And after, you can also switch visas and continue your research on PhD once you have completed your master's. So we have a much more opportunities in the UK. So you will only need 28 days of your bank statements to fly in the UK once everything is confirmed. You can also fly with your spouse. The visa ratio at the moment coming to the UK is so high that mostly everyone whose file is 100% okay, they are getting on board no matter what. So here's a, here's a breakdown for language requirement. So if you want to study in the UK, you will need IELTS. So as you know, we have two types of IELTS exam. Basically one is the academic one, both of them are academic one, but there is one specific dedicated for the UK, which is called IELTS for UK VI. So you can see the band requirements for each band and the average band. So let's say for bachelor's degree, if someone wants to study in bachelor's degree, they will need to have at least six on average or five from UK VI and minimum of five or 5.5 from each band. Now let's talk about masters. In masters for academic or UK VI, 6.5 or 5.5 for, 5 .5 for UK VI is required on an average. And for each band, you will need 5.5 on an average. So without IELTS, this is an interesting question, right? Can you fly to the UK without IELTS? Yes, you can, but there are some strict conditions. So there are some universities, not much, and you will need to go through internal test and you will also need to be eligible in such a way that from the, there are some universities in Bangladesh. Let's say I'm giving example from my perspective. Some universities are accepted for medium of instruction. So we, we have a list of universities, those who can come to the UK without IELTS. So after that, you can get the conditional offer letter once you have completed your internal test. An internal, internal test is similar to IELTS. So now I would like to talk about the living cost and the tuition fees. So let's talk about the tuition fees. So on an average 
for under graduation, 8,000 to 13,000 pound is required every year, 18 to 13,000 pound, which could be with or without scholarship. For post-graduation, it's around 8,500 to a maximum of 25,000 per year. And now I will gonna talk about living expenses. So all over the UK, for tuition fees, all of them are similar. You won't find any difference on an average everywhere. It's based on ranking and location. And for the living expense in London, you will need to show a little bit more of your expenses because London is expensive and outside London, it's really cheap and affordable. So in London on an average, you will get a need 1,334 pound every month, plus your one year tuition fees. Um, the expense for one month, it's on, it will be calculated on your term time, let's say six or seven month. And then with the tuition fees and the total amount, we will be discussing this once you have selected the university, it's completely different. It will be varied from person to person. So it will gonna be, um, once everything is done, after keeping it for 28 days, you can show the living expense and get the confirmation of acceptance letter. And outside London, it's around 1000 pound with the tuition fees. So now we're gonna discuss about the documents and all sort of things that you must have in order to fly to the UK. So basically first things first, passport is needed, all sort of academic documents. We will need a CV. And if you have any problem with your CV, we are here to help you out. Then we'll need IELTS. If you have any problem with IELTS, we are here to help you out with your IELTS, okay? To get your dream score so that you can fly to the UK. And we will also gonna help you with the statement of purpose and we will gonna need two reference letter from your two previous education or education, educational establishments. So here you will gonna see a list of banks from where the UK accepts the bank statements. So now I will gonna talk about the whole entire process. So if you take help from us, hustle free education, firstly, we will gonna be assessing you with your documents. It will gonna take one or three days, one to three days, which includes registration with us. Then we will make the application to the university, which will gonna take one to three days in total. And then comes the next section, receiving the conditional of a letter. We will send it as soon as possible once we get all the files. University sometimes takes a little bit time. So the, on an average, it takes five to 10 days. Not more, not less. After that, we will gonna prepare you for interview. Then we will gonna fulfill the condition and face-to-face -face interview with the, with the university. After that, we will gonna be helping you for submitting your financial documents to the university. We will prepare your financial sponsor and with supporting documents if you need them. So these processes will take five to three days to receive the unconditional offer letter. That means your all conditions have been made. And now is the time to get the confirmation of acceptance for study certificate. So without this, you can't come to the UK. So for that, you will need to clear your tuition fees and you need to show your bank statement. So after you fulfill this condition, 
you will gonna get the confirmation letter or the CAS, which will be followed by your medical test. Okay. It will gonna take seven to 10 days maximum. And now you're ready for the final step is to getting the visa. The final part of your dream before coming to the UK, receiving the visa. So once you got the confirm, uh, confirmation of acceptance for study, congratulations, you're ready to fly in the UK. So you will need to apply for the VFS through VFS for your tier four student visa. So once you've submitted the application, it will gonna take three to four weeks. So in total, if you're really committed, you can complete this entire process within two months. Okay. So now we will gonna talk about the cost breakdown. As you know, if you register with us, we don't charge. We don't charge a single penny for our service. Then you will need to go for the tuition fees. So you will need to submit the tuition fees, the 50%. Or if you want, you can also pay the 100%. It's it will depend from the university that you will gonna decide. Then you will need to pay the IHS or the health surcharge or the health insurance for three year or two year. It will gonna depend. For undergrads, it's 4, 000, uh, 475 pound by every year. For UK embassy, you will need to pay 348 pound. After that, you will need to book your air ticket. Without air ticket, my friend, you can't fly to the UK, right? So it will gonna, it's depend from 50,000 to 80,000 BDT. And for dependent, we only charge 475 pound per applicant. So what our experts will do for you? So first we will gonna take your assessment. We will select your course and your uh, the dedicated country according to your profile and your desire. So we will help you to get you what you really want. So feel free to talk to us, book an appointment, and then our senior consultants and experienced consultants will help you. So we will help you by one-to-one -one or group with your friends, or you can visit our office with your mom and dad so that we can describe all the process and then we will gonna do a spot assessment on your paper. So if you find something wrong, then we can suggest you what are the best ways to solve and get you out of the problem. And if everything is fine, you're okay to go. So then we will gonna provide you with the application guideline. And then we will gonna help you to write a unique statement of purpose for the university. So, we will help you with a university interview. Then we will gonna help you with visa operation. If you're eligible for scholarship, then obviously you are getting help from us as well. And you will get all sort of support if you are struggling with any banking details. We will try our best to help you out. And then we will gonna help you with the accommodation as well. So here is our team from Dhaka who are really committed and will be there for you to fulfill your dreams. So thank you very much for your valuable time and listening to my valuable words. This is how I have completed my entire journey and that's how I came to the UK. So I wish you all best of luck for your success and thank you for watching. Thank you. So now 
this Q and A session. So if you have got any questions, can you please type in the chat box? And Ash, me, and other consultant, they're gonna help you out. They're gonna answer your questions. So please type in the chat box if you've got any questions regarding anything. Okay, Imran said, is there any advantage for disabled students? So Imran, um, I will check it out because there are a lot of advantages for disabled students, for local students. I'm not sure for the international student. So probably, probably we'll check you out. We'll note it down. So Nafisa, can you please note it down that Imran, he asked the questions regarding uh, disabled. Any other questions at all? Please type in the chat box. So from my point of view, so if you are having some disable, disabilities from the university, you will receive tons of support for your um, assignments, class. If you need any help, UK universities and everyone is here to help you. So you won't have any problem, I believe. So you will gonna get all the answers in detail from Nafiza and the Taka team as well. Okay. Um, so um, Ash, can you please give a bit more details about UK VI IELTS? So Donna, she asked the question. Okay. So basically normal IELTS, that means the IELTS that you can give, which you can go for Australia, Canada and everywhere. Everything is similar. The only difference is you will gonna sit in in front of a camera. So the UK VI or the UK visa and immigration system can have a look on you that you have um, successfully given the exam on their criteria. So that's the main thing. And other than that, the questions and everything are same, but for the in for let's say for speaking, mm -hmm. The inter interviewer might use some British accent for your spoken interview. And I believe there is no difference other than this, only the exam thing. You are gonna do the exam on in front of camera. That's the only difference. And other than that, everything is same. Okay, um, Ash, someone requested to show the bank, list of the banks. Can List of the banks. Okay, <laughs> just a moment, please. Share the screen. Okay, can you please take a quick snapshot? Just take a picture. So, yeah. Um, sorry, just a moment. Here you go. The ABC. Did I miss it? Yeah, you miss it. Go back, please. Here you go. Here you go. Can you please take a, a snapshot? Hey, this is this list of the bank for Bangladesh. So if you need the list of the bank for Pakistan or, or other countries, please reach out to us. We're going to help you and we're going to give you the list. Okay, that's, that's fine. So please take a picture. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So yeah, stop sharing it. Probably they have taken the picture. Okay, so let me see if any other question. So Maruf said um, regarding the Canada. So Maruf, we have got another presentation regarding Canada, probably don't miss even a single class. So every class there is there would be a surprise for you, right? So you didn't expect that you're going to get loads of value from Ash. So here you are today. So um, someone said about the Sweden, of course. Um, so we see that a very few number of students they would like to go for Sweden or other countries. So now I'm going to introduce you uh, with um, my other colleagues as well. They're going to introduce you and they're going to share their personal number with you so that you can communicate with them and just take the service from them. So Ash, uh, would you mind, can you please um, share with them your business number as well on the chat box? Okay, just a moment. So. If you have a pen and paper, please um, put a plus, plus four, four, seven, four, nine, eight, six, six, two, six, eight, zero. You can find me on WhatsApp. I will gonna write it down in the comment box, okay? So, yeah, please write it down. Type in the chat box, uh, please. So 
Uh, now I'd like to introduce uh, with you another colleague, Nafiza. Nafiza, can you please introduce yourself and share your number as well? So uh, if you'd like to, now I know the lockdown is going on in Dhaka, in Bangladesh, um, and Silet as well. So after lockdown, if you'd like to come to visit our office, so you can give a call. And by this time, if you've got any questions, so you can contact with them. So Nafiza, please. Thank you so much. Uh, so hello, everyone. This is Nafiza. I'm working from a Dhaka office at Hassan Free Education. So we are working for UK, USA, and Canadian University without any service search. So if you need any help from basic English to visa application, including IELTS preparation or university admission, we will help you. So all you just need to give us a call and book an appointment. We will show you live how to how we'll do the application for you and how we'll get the conditional offer later and admission later for you. So I'm sharing my number in the chat box. Uh, please take a screenshot of my number and you can contact me on WhatsApp. And our dark office is in Green Road, Pantapod, and we have office in Silet and, and Molobi Bajar also. So if you want to communicate uh, with us uh, in the office, you can also, but due to lockdown, now we are working from home. So if you want to, uh, if you want to come to our office or visit our office, please do visit after the lockdown. We are here to help you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. So, um, uh, Tambir, uh, can you please save Nafiza's number? It's on the chat box. It's plus eight eight zero one seven zero seven three four six eight one three. Right? Please save this number. Name Nafiza. Give her a call. She's gonna give you the slate um, office address, right? So we have got another colleague, uh, Rupam. So Rupam, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, um, Rupam, so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I'm, yeah, I can, I can talk. Thanks for giving me the floor. I'm Mohammed Mohsin Hussain Rupam, and I'm from Hesafi Education. I'm senior consultant over here, and I'm working here since, since uh, 2020. And uh, if you guys want, really want to go to UK, USA, Canada, me and our team is Okay, um, no problem at all. So I think um, it's the network issue. So uh, Rupam, when you um, can, can you please uh, type your number on the chat box so that everyone can save your number and they can give you a call and they can contact you. So Abu Bakr Siddiq said, please send Molly uh, contact number. So Abu Bakr, uh, during the lockdown, everyone is working from home. So please save Nafiz's number and give her a call. She's going to help you from there. And she's going to uh, give you the address so that you can visit our Molly Wazir office as well. Um, so Milon said, I have completed my graduation last year, 2017. Please tell me how can I do UKVI? OK, Milon, you got our contact number, right? So all you need to do is make a call. Just you are one call away, right? So if you'd like to study in UK, US, or Canada, you are just one call away, right? Don't be silly right save the number once you finish the class give a call probably tomorrow um, they'll help you out so we have got another colleague from pakistan moes probably have known him so if you need um some sort of help from pakistan as well we are there as well um our office is in lahore as well however now um so i have got another question is um how can i get a scholarship for academic purpose so Rimandash, as um, ash mentioned i would recommend everyone else uh, because it's recorded, I'm going to post it on uh, IELTS and study in the UK. Go through this time and again. Take the notes, right? You will understand everything. Exactly roadmap you're going to get. What you need to do to come to the UK, US, or Canada. So regarding the scholarship, as um, Ash mentioned, that you need to have bright academic score and very handsome score in IELTS as well. So if you've got these two, then you're gonna have a scholarship, either full funded, partially, whatever it is, right? Um, that's the thing. So yeah, so Rupom, he uh, shared his number as well. Um, 
Okay, so the Kobir said, I desperately go to Canada, I badly need your help. Of course, um, Chaudhary Kobir, that's why you are here. So you are just one call away. All you got to do, you need to call Nafiza or Rupom, they'll help you from there. So what gonna happen is, so once you give a call, then they're gonna book an appointment virtually. I know it's locked down. Virtually means like this, you and me, right? And a lot of the students here. So uh, they're gonna sit with you, they're gonna share the skin as Ash shared, and then they're gonna help you one-to-one. Uh, -one. They're gonna say, ask you a lot of questions like which university, which course, what's your tuition fee budget. Then they're gonna show you the university course, and then they're gonna make replication on behalf of you, right? They're gonna give you training for getting the visa, for university interview and all that stuff. And as Ash mentioned, if you are coming to London, I personally drive down to Heathrow Airport or Garrick and I'll pick you up from there. If you are coming from, um, I mean, coming to Manchester or Birmingham, so our Birmingham team and Manchester team, will they, they will pick you up from the airport. So that's the service we are providing. If you're going to Canada, um, so still we help you, USA um, and other countries as well. So now, um, thank you very much. Um, now I have got a question to you is, so the homework, can you please type in the chat box? Okay, dueling your score except for Canada. Um, a very few universities, right? A very few universities. So uh, again, I'm gonna tell you, remind you something like psychology is 80% psychology, 20% mechanism. So right now, if you have, haven't got the mindset right, if you're not ready yet, if you are, don't have the drive that, okay, I'm gonna sit for IELTS exam, I'm gonna get at least six, you will lose the battle. All you have to do, do you have to be very strong in psychology, right? Um, once you do that, then you'll be able to get it. Can you remember I shared my story? I requested my mother to take some money from her pension pot and she gave it to me, 3000. And I was confident enough that I will fly to the UK and the rest thing I'll figure it out. And I did, right? So all you have to do is check your mindset, fix your mindset, set up your mindset in that position so that you can, you know, win the battle. So now, please type in the chat box, what's your homework? Type in the chat box, what's your homework? Still, if you can remember, how to take admission at UK University. Umbe Fatima, excellent. I'd like to see how many of you really understood how to take admission at the UK University. Type in the chat box, what's your homework? Okay. How to take admission at UK University. That's your homework, right? So probably another day, the homework could be how to take admission at Canadian University, right? So this is the homework today, how to take admission at UK University. So um, in the second class, we have learned how to uh, make a lot of sentences using subject and verb, right? So you need to start from the very beginning, how to take admission at the UK University. So now, um, so Ash, he has given a presentation at least, I think, 35, 40 minutes. So um, I'm gonna share the whole video, recorded video on Facebook group. You need to go through it. Again, you need to note it down and then you need to give a presentation. So your presentation will be, hi, my name is Hassan Abib. And today I'd like to share with you how to take admission at the university. Well, first of all, da 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 da. Secondly, da 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 da. Moreover, da da da, right? Furthermore, da 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 da. And finally, once I get the visa, um, I will apply, um, I will fly to the UK and Thanks for hassle fee education. So this is how you need to finish your presentation. Who can do that? Type in the chat box. Type me if you can do that. I'd like to see how many of you really can do that. Yeah, type in the chat box. Mm -hmm. All right, type in the chat box, please. So this is your presentation. How to take admission at UK University. Okay, um, Ashraful, I'm so sorry, uh, something happened to the third video. I couldn't find it, unfortunately, right? I think uh, it was not recorded, but uh, I'll make sure that from now on, every video is, is being recorded. So um, yeah, so here I can see a lot of students, like 45 or 40 students. Only I have seen only seven or eight um, people said that um, me, Type in the chat box me if you know um, how to take the um, admission at the UK University. Type in the chat box. I'd like to see everyone else comment, right? Yeah, type in the chat box, please. 
So um, I think around 20, I got it, only 20. What happened to the rest? You can't do this. Type in the chat box me if you know how to do a presentation and all you got to do, listen to me again. So all you got to do, you need to say, hi, my name is Hassan Abib. And, and today I'd like to share with you how to take admission at the university, right? Then you need to give a presentation one to one, right? So one by one. So first of all, moreover, furthermore, you can use this sort of connectors. And finally, you can say, once I get the visa, I'll fly to the UK, right? Okay, so Tanvir, um, going to university is first choice. Yeah, that's a very good university. Um, it's not that far from Birmingham where I studied. Make sure you saved uh, Nafiza's number and give her a call or Rupam number or S number, right? So save their number, give a call, they will book you an appointment and they will help you one-to-one. -one. Okay, excellent. So now um, I'd like to share my story, how I learned English. So who is really excited to know that? Type in the chat box, a story. I'd like to see how many of you really want to know my story, how I learned English. Type in the chat box, a story. I'd like to see. Okay, so a lot of people are typing a story. That means, yeah, you are really excited to know my story. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the, and that's why I always tell you, uh, you've got to do two things. Either you got to take a lot of notes while, while I'm giving lecture or you got to go back to the um, uh, Facebook group and you need to watch the video time and again because repetition is the mother of all success. Repetition. So you need to repeat, right? So that's why I recommend you repeat, watch the video time and again and take a lot of notes. Because if you're listening a lot, that means you are learning a lot, understanding a lot, and this is how you're gonna improve your fluency. Okay, let me tell you my story, right? So as you know, um, I was kicked out from my class um, because I couldn't understand the, his lecture in English and I raised my hand. Uh, I mean, who joined first class, they knew my story, why I started learning English. So when I started uh, learning English, what I found is, I need some money, right? I need some money. But that time I was studying at university um, masters and I used to get 2000 taka from home. Type in the chat box if you heard me right. How much I used to get from home? 2000 taka, right? Type in the chat box if you heard me right. Yeah, that's right, 2000 taka. So, um, you know, I used to live in a, um, a hall, I mean, a student dormitory. And that time is like 12 years ago, right? Um, so the per meal was eight taka or 10 taka, something like this. So you're gonna have uh, a small bowl of what is called um, vegetable or a small piece of chicken and you will get um, what is called dal, right? It's very liquid and you don't know which one is the uh, bowl for, you know, uh, the dirty water and which one is the dal. So uh, the, to know that uh, only, uh, there is a, there is a um, what is called uh, technique to know who is on his dal. So who is on has got a spoon, that on his dal, and who is on doesn't have a spoon, that's the dirty water. So I used to see that, you know, when um, newcomer, new students used to go to the university for admission um, test, they make a lot of mistakes. And even I saw that. I said, no, 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 don't take that. That's the dirty water, right? So uh, I know it looks the same, but who is on has got a spoon, that's the dal. And the other one, uh, is not the dal, right? That's the dirty water. So that's a funny story anyway. So 2000 taka I used to get from home and that cost me around about 1000 taka. So uh, early in the morning is breakfast, then two times meal. And I used to have some bad habits like you have like smoking and all that stuff, but I gave up, right? So um, that's how I managed to get like 2000 taka per month. And I used to borrow some money from my friends as well. So uh, this is how I was living my life. So I started thinking how I'm gonna get the money because that time, I mean, if you go to a spoken class or IELTS course um, is something like 3,000 to 5,000 taka you have to pay for the course, right? So uh, I started thinking how I'm gonna get the money. So all of a sudden um, I got a call from one of my friends. So can you remember I told you? So when you are really looking for something, you're gonna get it because where the focus goes, energy flows, right? So my focus is to learn English. So now I started thinking how I'm gonna get some sort of money. 
so that I can invest myself and I can pay this course fee. So all of a sudden I got a call from my friends. His name is Mehdi Hassan Roli. He used to study at Dhaka University and I used to study at Chidon University. And he said, uh, friend, where are you right now? I said, I'm in the hall. He said, I'm coming tomorrow to see you. I said, what do you mean? He said, no, I came to visit one of my sister's house and I'm bored because I, I always stayed at my house. So can I come see you tomorrow? I said, yeah, definitely you can. So um, before that, I'd like to ask you, who has got some sort of experience living in a hall or dormitory? Type in the chat box. A student hall, type in the chat box. I'd like to see who has got some sort of experience. Yeah, a lot of students are saying, yeah, the student hall. They used to, they, so, you know, you have got friends, so you, you um, sleep in the same bed, though it's very, um, I used to narrow. So, yeah, I said, no problem. So we have got an extra bench. So in the room, there is a one extra bench. So if you have got a friend, so you add the bench with the bed, and this is how two people can uh, sleep together, right? So um, he came next day and he said, um, I love this city university, it's full of Nassar, very vibrant, and I'm, I'm gonna stay, let's say three, four days. I said, no problem at all. Uh, so I started uh, showing him here and there. It's a nice scenery. I mean, if you go to the forestry department, it's full of nature, right? And then he said, okay, can I stay more days? I said, of course you can, right? He's one of my best friends. And then all of a sudden he got a phone call from his sister. He said, can you bring your friend as well? And I was a bit shy, now I'm not, right? Because I can speak in front of 100 people. That time I was so shy, I said, no, my friend, I'm not going to a sister house. He said, no, no, you got to go. And anyway, so um, I bought some sweetmeats and all that stuff. I went uh, with him to his sister house and his brother-in-law was an IT manager. He has got, you know, handsome salary and all that stuff. And he said, um, well, um, have you, what's your, uh, I mean, aim in life, what are you gonna do? I said, um, probably I'll try for the government job and all that stuff or bank and I'm taking preparation and all that stuff. And he said, oh, that's true, right? So I think you should take preparation for IELTS as well. You never know where the opportunities come, right? So if you understand me, type in the chat box opportunity. He said, you never know where the opportunity is coming from. So you need to have preparation for IELTS. If you understand me, type in the chat box opportunity. Excellent. So then he started, you know, uh, excite me. He said, you know, you need to learn English. And if you learn English, let's say you are not going to the um, uh, different countries like UK, US or Canada, it's still this is gonna help you for BCS, uh, your bank job, because there are a lot of marks in English. And I didn't know, I mean, why he's saying these sort of things. Guess what? He wants to go to Australia and he needs IELTS and he needs someone else to do the course for him. And he's gonna do the course and he's gonna come back to him at night and he's gonna share what he learned and this is how he's gonna sit for our exam because he is very busy, right? That time, there is no, I mean, something like this um, IELTS class online, right? And I didn't understand him. So funny story is, and second day he said, can you please help me? And I said, what is that? He said, can you go for IELTS course? And I said, you know, uh, no, 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 um, I'm not doing IELTS course and I'm very bad in English. And he said, no, no, you don't have to think about that. Can you go to our schools? I said, what do you mean? He said, can you join the class? And you know, I don't have money that much. And I said, and he said, he, he started smiling. He said, I know you don't have money. Don't worry about the money. I'll give you the course fee. I said, hmm, got it, right? So he gave me 5,000 taka and he said, go to executive care in Chitagong. So who is from Chitagong? Type in the chat box, I'd like to see. So type in the chat box, Chitogong. If someone is from Chitogong, type in the chat box, Chitogong. Okay, Umi Patama said it's me. Okay, so he gave me 5,000 taka and he said, go to executive care in Lal Lalkan Bazaar, right? And I went there and I said, I'd like to take, um, you know, preparation course of IELTS. And he said, yeah, you need to pay 5,000 taka because he already researched and he know how much is that. And that brother-in-law, my friend's brother-in-law, he said, look, all you got to do, you got to join the class and come back and share with me what you have learned. And this is how I'm gonna take preparation for IELTS and I'm gonna sit for exam and I'd like to go to Australia. I said, okay, 
got it. So I got my preparation course. I got my you know course fee, and I started going there. But something happened, and that was very painful. So I went to the class, and the first class was listening, and the teacher came to the class, and he started speaking in English. Blah blah blah, da da da. And my ears is was getting hot. Right, I didn't understand him probably thirty percent, even twenty percent. So type in the chat box if you know where I was. Type in the chat box if something happened to you. Type in the chat box me. I'd like to see. So you went to a class and you are really excited to learn a lot of things. And the teacher came and they started giving the lecture and he didn't understand. Right? He started speaking English and later on he played a cassette that time. And you know, like this cassette, and he started playing listening test, and that that was the foreigner voice, right? And I didn't understand even that was zero. I didn't understand even a single word. And then I came to, and I left the class once it's finished, and I started thinking, should I go to my brother-in-law? Because I didn't understand anything. What I'm gonna share with him? I'm gonna go to him and I say, brother-in-law, you gave me five thousand taka. I didn't understand anything, and here I am, right? So I started thinking, what should I do? Um, I think I'm not going to see him. I'm going to university hall, right? And I was going. I started walking and going to the, you know, a train station. And all of a sudden, I started thinking, well, you know, if I did that, you will think I'm a cheater. I took the money and I left. I escaped. So. To save my friend's face, I went to his house, and you know my friend's sister, um, her her name is Munyapu. So she was sitting in a dining table, and my brother-in-law he was uh, sitting uh, he was sitting in a dining table as well. I went there. I said, hey, "Take a seat," and Munyapu served me tea and you know snacks and all that stuff. And he said, "Okay, share with me what did you learn?" And I started become red, though you know my color is brown. And then I said, "I'm so sorry." I drew a close eyes. I, you know, I started crying almost. I received your money. I got your money, and I paid for the course. But I didn't understand even a single word, right? And here's the thing: if you are one of them, you need to take note. Then they said, "Okay, don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do? I'll give you a recorder, a small recorder. You're gonna go to the class. You press it. It's gonna be recorded. Come back to home." And just give me the recorder. Recorder. I'll transfer to the computer, and then I'll listen. I said, "Okay, God, you saved me, right?" And the second thing they said, "Don't worry. Don't miss even a single class. Buy some sort of old uh, magazine, like Daily Star, right, or something else, whatever your country from. So English magazine. Buy the old one because you don't have money, right? And I bought, I think, three of them. Three of them, I think." Per piece was two taka. I bought it. I never started reading. I started underlining the word. If I don't understand, just I underline. If I don't understand, just I underline. On the book, on the magazine, I started, you know, writing the meaning. And this is how when I started reading, so I see the meaning of the word and I understand. I started understanding the sentence. That's the first step. So if you understood me, what I just said, or if you are struggling with that. What do you need to do? That was the fastest step. Type in the chat box. Fastest step. I'd like to see how many of you really understood. What is the strategy? So, if you don't understand English, if you are struggling, the fastest step is you need to buy English magazine or newspaper, and you need to take pen and paper, and you need to take the dictionary, and you need to, you know, write the meaning on the paper, and then you need, you need to find out the meaning. Then you need to start reading again. So this is how. That's the fastest step. Type in the chat box. Fastest step. Okay, the second step is, then you know I started um, joining the class. I started understand some somewhat, but still I didn't understand about the tense and the transformation of sentence because that's the basic, that's the backbone of a language. So the second step is you need to learn two things. Number one is tense. Number two is transformation of sentence. Type in the chat box. Number one is tense. Number two is Transformation of sentence. Type in the chat box, please. I'd like to see how many of you really understood. Number one is tense. So type in the chat box tense and transformation of sentence. Tense and 
transformation of sentence. So if you understand these two things, you are done, right? So tense and trans transformation of sentence. That's why in our course, I teach you tense. And a lot of you know, you, you are better than uh, myself when I was in that position. I appreciate that. Tense and transformation of sentence. You have got a grammar book at your home, learn two things, tense and transformation of sentence. So now you might ask a question. So what do you mean by tense? It's simple, present, past, and future. Present, past, and future. Type in the chat box, present, past, and future. These three things you need to understand. Only these three things regarding the tense. Type in the chat box, present, past, and future. I'd like to see how many of you really understood. Present, past, and future. Yeah, that's right. Present, past, and future. And um, I'm going to see everyone else comment. Please type in the chat box, present, past, and future. And number two is transformation of sentence. Yeah, that's right, Johanna. So transformation of sentence means simple, complex, and compound. Type in the chat box, please. Simple, complex, and compound. Simple, complex, and compound. Type in the chat box, simple, complex, and compound. So if you understand this, these two things, you will not struggle. You will not struggle. So that's the basic things you got to know. So what happened is I, okay, by this time, you know, um, so there was, I think, finishing like something like approaching to Eid. I'm not sure whether it was Eid al-Fitr or Eid al-Adha. So I um, started packing my bags uh, to go home. And then uh, I have decided that what should I do? Because I, I don't understand English even. So then I went to see my that teacher, IELTS teacher. His name was Zakir Hussain. And I said, sorry, sorry, sir, I do don't don't I'm not blaming you. This is my fault. I don't understand your class. That's what I said. This is my fault. I don't understand your class and I don't have very basic uh, in English, what should I do? And he told me the same thing, same formula. He said, you got to understand two things. Number one is tense. Number two is transformation of sentence. Tense mean present, past and future. And number two is transformation of sentence. That means simple, complex and compound. So in our course, we have got simple, complex and compound. Don't worry, we have got everything what I'm sharing right now. So then I went home and that time, you know, um, I was a university student, but I have, I think I spoken with one of my, you know, brother, local brother, and he was studying at college, I think second year. And I said, uh, you know, do you take private tuition? He said, yes. I said, who is teacher you are going to? He said, this is the teacher. How is he? He's very good. Does he teach you grammar? Yes, he does. Um, can I start? He said, what do you mean? You are studying at the university. You are my senior brother. Would you like to learn English from me? Uh, I mean, with us? I said, yeah, of course. Don't disclose my identity, right? Till that, you know, I fail quite a few times in an intermediate. That's why I'd like to, you know, learn English with you. And why are you lying? I said, I won't be, um, I mean, you know, I will feel, I don't, I won't feel comfortable. I mean, if I say I'm studying at the university and I'm here to learn English with you. He said, uh, people will understand. I said, tell them that I failed quite many times, like two, three times in intermediate. That's why I'm a bit aced and I, I would like to eager to learn with you. And he said, yeah, that's fine. And how much is, um, I mean, you need to pay your teacher. He said, 300 taka. I said, okay, excellent. Um, I'm gonna do from uh, tomorrow. Can you please give a call right now? And he said, are you crazy? Why are you so rushed? I said, no, no, I have got only one month to stay at home, probably one and a half months. And after that, I have to go back to the university. So by this time, I need to fix my English. And he said, okay. So he called and he said, um, I have got one brother. He'd like to uh, learn English from you. Can I bring him tomorrow? He said, yeah, that's fine. Uh, bring him tomorrow. And then my teacher, he said, um, um, which college are you studying? I said, I study at Bula College. I studied there anyway. And he said, um, so he asked me a lot of questions. I said, you know, I, I'm feeling a bit shy. Can, you, can I answer you later on? 
and he understood. He said, he said, okay, that's fine. And then I started learning. I said, uh, teacher, can you please teach me these three things? And he said, what is that? He said, I said, simple, complex, and compound. And he said, yeah, that's right. And what else? I said, passive voice. He said, yeah, that's right. So I learned from him this, uh, you know, four things, simple, complex, compound, and passive voice. Then I finished the class, uh, I mean, private. Then I went back to the university. And after that, I started learning a lot of things. And Zakir Hussain, he came to the class, he started um, speaking and I understand him. And I started responding to him. I, I feel, you know, a lot of enjoyment that, yes, I understand. I communicate with him. I ask him questions in the class. And this is how I, I learn English. So is it helpful? As I have shared my story with you, is it helpful? Type in the chat box if it is helpful. Type in the chat box if it is helpful. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So this is how I need to do. So you need to uh, do the revision if you know that simple complex compound and you need to practice a lot uh, present, past and future. If you consider these four, I mean, six things together, so you will understand everything about IELTS. And that's why we always recommend each and every student to come to join this basic course first, pre-IELTS. And after that, you start joining IELTS class. And we have got like 15 students in our IELTS best. You know, all of them, they understand the teacher, even Steve, the foreign teacher, British teacher. They respond in the class and I love it. I love it, that's right. So uh, thank you everyone for joining today. So today's homework is how to take admission at the UK University. All you've got to do, you need to talk about two to three minutes, right? So take a lot, a lot of notes. Uh, give a presentation for two to three minutes and this is how um, I would like to see your presentation in the Facebook group. So if you have got any questions, please type in the chat box. Otherwise, I'm going to finish it right now. Okay. Okay. No questions at all. So the first uh, question I'm going to ask you, have you saved our consultant's number? Type in the chat box, please. If you saved our consultant number, type saved. I'd like to see how many of you have saved our consultant number. Type saved, S-A-V-E-D, S-A-V-E-D, saved. I'd like to see how many of you really saved our consultant number. Type in the chat box saved. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Joe Bayerul um, said, do you find English, foundation English course? I'm not sure, Joe Bayerul, what do you mean? Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. So thank you very much for joining today and see you tomorrow, right? But before that, I'd like to see your video on Facebook group. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, uh, Maruf said, how can I find this record class? It's on the Facebook group, IELTS and study in the UK. So you will find the class on Facebook, IELTS and study in the UK. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone, bye-bye.